Hey guys, Moody here, and welcome back to some more gameplay of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Uh, now, if I remember correctly from the last gameplay that I left off, Eivor goes and sees this old lady uh, to seek answers. Uh, so she ends up uh, making this elixir for him uh, in a bowl and then like hands it to him and tells him to drink it and that he'll be entering and once he drinks it that he'll be entering the world of dreams so Eivor ends up drinking it and he suddenly falls to the ground and passes out he then awakens in the, the dream world and he ends up seeing his brother his brother there with a wolf so he ends up going after his brother and then when he finally reaches him his brother uh, ends up getting pulled into the sky and the wolf ends up turning into this humongous dragon with glowing red eyes and that's when he ends up waking up and the old lady uh, asks Eivor if uh, what he saw in the dream and he told her that he saw his brother and the wolf and uh, that the wolf turned into this dragon and uh, and that's when she tells him uh, that you're going to end up betraying your brother. And Eivor's like, betray my brother? Why would I do such a thing? He's family. He's like, I'll never betray my brother. And he ends up walking away. And uh, basically that's it. So now, uh, I see that there's no quest available. Uh, I'm going to check in the menu. See if I can uh, okay. find anything. Okay, I got a skill point. Skills. How many do I have? Two. All right, so we're gonna Wait, melee melee resistance we're plus seven point zero melee. melee resistance hold process wire. So we acquire that. Then ability damage. Ability damage. Uh, what's this? Melee two point three melee damage of wire. That's for the stealth, stealth, stealth right? West. West. Uh, family matters. Track family matters. Ivor returns home to face oh, imposter. Yeah. I still have this quest here. Uh, all right, so we'll head down there. So let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. I could go there and collect the, uh, but I might fall into fucking to, to some enemies and might get killed. Or I can go to my main objective. You know what? I'm going to try heading towards the wealth. Let's see if I can get, some, get something there. No, actually, this is... I think my horse is going to die if I go down here. Will he? Not if I go slowly, right? Come on. You can do it. Horses doesn't want to go down. Okay, uh. Oh, my oh shit! Ah, oh, you fucking serious? I just killed my horse. Oh boy. Oh well. Can I go down here? Or will I die if I jump down here? Okay. Come on, go down, go down, 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 down. Alright. Okay, so if I call my horse again, uh, which is the right on the D pad, will he show up? Or is like. He's dead and that's it. I have no horse now. Or maybe it takes a while before he comes back again. I don't know. Okay. Uh, can I make it across? Without dying? Oh, 
block. I ain't gonna make that. I'm gonna have to go around. So, I can... I'm already at the, the objective here, but... The main objective, but... I'm gonna wait before I do anything with that. I wanna check out the... Hello, Eivor. The well. So maybe I can... <laughs> Can uh, upgrade some of my armor and stuff. Okay, let me get off of this guy. Get on here. Hey, boy! Go with us, Elding. I'm back. I'm back, boys. Let's go. Are you feeling all right? Where's that? Uh, how come I don't see it on my map anymore? The well. Let's check something out. Uh... Run up the trail! Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see it now. So, if I look into my world. the world map, I can hmm, I can either just pull up on the side here and just uh, head my way on foot, or I can go all around and make it there. I think instead of going all around, I'm just gonna climb up this mountain here. Stay right here, I'll be back. Hold on. I don't run into any enemies. Okay, uh, we're about 300 meters away. So let's keep going. all this stuff collect food loot Lots of silver read scorched paper those fools from Fornsberg said I was mad but they will fall before Jolt thieves whatever how do you, I don't even know how you pronounce that blade my horde is hidden and safe ha they will have to walk through fire to get it <coughs> more food okay okay so the food uh when you loot that you end up uh when you collect it you end up getting back some of your health back 
Okay, uh, as for the treasure, I don't know where the hell it is. Is it... On top? No. So how do I get to that treasure? time trying to figure out how to get in there. So let's head back. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'll see him now. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy? Gaining alliances. Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have no allies? We have no allies. We can't negotiate with brutes. Dip diplomacy, diplomacy is cowardice. Uh, let's do the first one. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! <clears throat> Quest completed. something before I make my World way. Hill I make, Cross I shut up. I make my way there. Uh Hold Cross Fast Trap. What's this here?
Svein. Have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Show me your tattoos. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Tattoo shop. Oh wow. Well. Tattoo, tattoo and barber customize Ivers look at Svendem for Sandov tattoo shop. Great. Raymond Wap. Classic beard press cross. Classic hair blonde press cross change. Classic hair blonde. Shave. Pla oh, wow. Shave red press. Sh classic hair. Shave light brown press. Classic. Classic hair dark brown press. Classic. Classic hair dark brown. Shave red press cross supply. Shave blonde press. Shave dark brown press cross supply. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna apply this. Alright, head. Great, J R M U N. Hell sign press cross supply. Hell sign press. Raven shadow head press cross. Raven bard head. Raven shadow head press. Hell sign. J R M U N G A N. Hell sign press cross supply. J R M U N G A N. Hell sign press cross supply. J R M U N G A N D R press cross. Hell sign press cross supply. J R M U N G A N D R. Hell sign press cross supply. J R M U N G A N D R. Take that one. Okay, for now we're gonna. Shave press. We're gonna keep it like that. So. Hell sign press cross chain. So those are my tats. Um. Alright, perfect. Good. Need anything else? Show me your tattoos. I'll, I'll be going. See you later, Swain. Sure. <sighs> hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vaughn! Is he good? <laughs> Ah, oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker! Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you... salt-cured vikinger! I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes! Basim! And Hytham, we met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation, and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtve's men. They must have cut the tale short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing shown of war will dislodge Kyrtve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kurt with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtve and his clan, and how we may end their terror. Once and for all. He has dogged us too long. Shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course. When the time is right.
through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went. Shadowy tribes hurling spears at Miklagard. We saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. I'm just gonna sit here and fatten up my belly a bit. Alright, I guess I'm all done. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Thornburg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringul. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. I should have gone easy on you. I should have gone easy. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. A thing of beauty. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. Alright, so I acquired the hidden blade. Alright you guys, I'm gonna end it here. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.